In today's video, I'm going to give you a complete guide on everything you need to know about shipping container homes. Whether you're thinking of building one yourself, buying one from a reputable company, or just curious about this trend, this video is for you. So what is a shipping container home? Well, as the name suggests, it's a home made out of used shipping containers. You know, those big metal boxes that are used to transport goods around the world. They come in different sizes, shapes, and colors, but the most common ones are 20 feet long, 8 feet wide, and 8 and a half feet high. That's about 160 square feet of floor space, which may not sound like much, but with some creativity and design, you can turn it into a cozy and comfortable living space. But why would you want to live in a shipping container home? Well, there are many benefits to this type of housing, such as cost savings. Shipping containers can be bought for as little as $1,000, but rarely cost more than $5,000. This is far cheaper than framing a house. While you can expect to spend a fair bit more renovating it and getting it ready to live in, the cost of building using shipping containers is going to be far less than constructing a home with traditional materials. Eco-friendliness by using shipping containers, you're recycling and reusing materials that would otherwise end up in landfills or rusting away. Shipping containers are also durable and resistant to weather, pests, and fire, which means they require less maintenance and energy consumption than conventional homes. Mobility Shipping containers are designed to be moved around, so you can easily transport your home to a new location if you want to. You can also stack them on top of each other or arrange them side by side to create larger or more complex structures. You can even take them apart and reassemble them in a different way if you feel like changing things up. Customization Shipping containers are like blank canvases that you can paint and decorate however you like. You can cut out windows, doors, skylights, or even entire walls to create openings and connections. You can also add insulation, flooring, plumbing, electricity, and other amenities to make your home more comfortable and functional. The possibilities are endless. Of course, living in a shipping container home also comes with some challenges and drawbacks, such as building codes. Although shipping container housing is becoming more popular, many towns and counties have certain building code restrictions on these homes. You may need to obtain permits, inspections, and approvals before you can start your project. You may also need to comply with zoning, safety, and aesthetic regulations that may limit your design options or increase your costs. Finding Containers Once you get the okay from your local municipality, start your search for an appropriate container to use. You want to find one that's in good condition, without any major dents, rust, or holes. You also want to make sure that the container has not been used to transport hazardous or toxic materials, as this may pose a health risk. You can buy containers from online platforms, local dealers, or shipping companies, but always inspect them before you buy them. Financing your project Depending on the size and complexity of your shipping container home, you may need to secure some funding to cover the expenses. However, not all banks and lenders are willing to finance this type of construction as they may consider it too risky or unconventional. You may need to shop around for a suitable loan or use alternative sources of financing such as crowdfunding, personal savings, or family and friends. Hiring a contractor Unless you have the skills and experience to build a shipping container home yourself, you may need to hire a professional contractor to help you with the project. You want to find someone who has done this kind of work before, and who can provide you with references, portfolios, and estimates. You also want to make sure that you have a clear contract that outlines the scope, timeline, and budget of the project, as well as the responsibilities and liabilities of each party. Staying safe Working with shipping containers can be dangerous, especially if you're cutting, welding, or lifting them. You need to take proper precautions and wear protective gear such as gloves, goggles, and helmets. You also need to follow the instructions and guidelines of the manufacturer, the contractor, and the local authorities. You don't want to compromise the structural integrity or the safety of your shipping container home. So how do you get started with building a shipping container home? Well, the first step is to plan your design. You need to have a clear idea of what you want your home to look like, how big you want it to be, how many containers you need, and how you want to arrange them. You also need to consider the location, orientation, foundation, and utilities of your home. 
You can use online tools such as Floor Planner or SketchUp to create a 3D model of your shipping container home. You can also get inspiration from other shipping container home projects such as these ones. The Manifesto House in Chile, which uses two 40-foot containers and two 20-foot containers to create a spacious and modern home with a large terrace and a green roof. The Containers of Hope in Costa Rica, which uses two 40-foot containers to create a cozy and rustic home with a sloped roof and a large window. The WFH House in China, which uses three 40-foot containers to create a sleek and minimalist home with a solar panel roof and a rainwater collection system. Once you have your design ready, you can move on to the next step, which is to buy your containers. As I mentioned earlier, you can find containers online, locally, or from shipping companies. You can also choose between new or used containers, depending on your budget and preference. New containers are more expensive, but they're also more reliable and easier to work with. Used containers are cheaper, but they may have some wear and tear, and they may require more cleaning and preparation. After you buy your containers, you need to transport them to your site. This can be done by truck, train, or ship, depending on the distance and the availability. You may need to pay for the delivery fee, as well as the crane fee, if you need to lift your containers onto your foundation. You may also need to clear the site and level the ground before you place your containers. The next step is to modify your containers. This is where you cut out the openings for windows, doors, and other features. You also need to weld the containers together if you're stacking or joining them. You also need to install the insulation, flooring, plumbing, electricity, and other amenities that you want in your home. This is the most labor-intensive and costly part of the project, so you may want to hire a contractor to do this for you. The final step is to finish your shipping container home. This is where you add the finishing touches, such as painting, decorating, furnishing, and landscaping. You can also add some features that will make your home more eco-friendly, such as solar panels, rainwater harvesting, composting toilets, and so on. This is the most fun and creative part of the project, so you can let your personality and style shine through. And that's it, you've just built your own shipping container home. Congratulations! But wait, what if you don't want to build a shipping container home yourself? What if you want to buy one that's already made and ready to move in? Well, you're in luck, because there are many companies that offer prefabricated shipping container homes that you can order online and have delivered to your site. These homes are designed and built by professionals, and they come in different sizes, shapes, and styles. They also come with all the amenities and features that you need, such as insulation, flooring, plumbing, electricity, and so on. So there you have it, everything you need to know about shipping container homes. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're interested in living in a shipping container home yourself, or just want to see more of them, make sure to check out my other videos where I show you some of the most amazing and innovative shipping container homes around the world. You won't believe what people have done with these metal boxes. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!